Thanks to the power of modding, it's possible to create custom towers that you can build in any level. The Sylvan Elf Barracks was our foundation for the first custom tower. They come from the Silver Oak and Fungal Forest levels. In the original version of the tower, you buy elven soldiers for 100 gold that need to be repurchased if they die. Pay attention to their stats here, because they aren't necessarily the same as the modded barracks. In the Kingdom Rush 1 mod, the modded Sylvan Elf Barracks can be accessed by building an Origins Barracks, then upgrading it to level 3. From the level 3 tower, you can go to the green blade icon that costs 270 gold at the top left to purchase the modded Sylvan Elves. As you can see, their stats are slightly different. This is because the units had to be nerfed slightly to be balanced. They also benefit from Kingdom Rush 1's star upgrades. At default, they have 75 HP, which goes up to 91 with both stars. They also have no armor, which goes up to 10, a 12 second respawn time that goes down to 9, and a rally point range of 160. They also have a projectile range of 220. You can see that when they're placed at the edge of their range, they can shoot a rot shroom at the point it starts turning the bend. Keep this in mind because their default range can be increased. One thing that might be hard to notice about their stats is the difference between their melee and ranged attack damage. Melee damage is almost always what is displayed on a unit's stats, though there are exceptions. In this case, the elves deal 5 less physical damage in melee than in ranged, so by default, they deal 25 to 50 ranged damage and 20 to 40 melee damage. Their first upgrade increases the damage of both attacks by 5, for 200 gold each. Their second upgrade improves their armor by 25 points, for 200 gold each. And finally, their third upgrade increases their projectile range by 15 points. When I buy the first upgrade of this skill, you might not see the difference in where they shoot the first rot shroom. 15 range is usually only significant for AoEs, but you can see the difference in their other upgrades. Not only do enemies die faster, but the extra armor goes a long way. With Gerald's Courage buff, they can actually go up to high armor, which offsets their very low HP really well against physical damage enemies. But as you can see, it doesn't do much for the survival against poison damage. If we rebuild the elves with the range upgraded to tier 2, you can see they fire slightly earlier than before. And when we try again at tier 3, you really see the difference. This can be a double-edged sword in some cases, which takes me to their practical uses. The Sylvan Elves are very much like the Harassers in Vengeance. They have weak blocking power, but immensely high damage. With Micro, they can deal better damage than many Archer Towers. In the modded game, where you have access to all other towers, they overlap most with high physical damage towers like Golden Longbows, Musketeers, Crossbow Forts, Assassins, and especially Barbarians. What makes them stand out is that they trade even more damage for being difficult to use. Once they die, the DPS they were outputting is halted. If they die regularly, they will deal far less damage than a tower that can attack freely. But these units can be microed, so they won't necessarily suffer from that problem in the hands of a good player. Microing them also allows you to focus on particular units to be attacked, whereas non-barracks towers will always shoot at the enemy closest to the exit. This allows them to isolate and execute high priority enemies, just like other high damage barracks. But unlike other barracks, they don't have to engage in melee combat to deal all this damage. Instead, you can have something else block the enemy, and then let the elves shoot with their bows. What makes this useful compared to other barracks is that assassins and barbarians would quickly die to giants dealing area damage. If you have something sufficient to block the enemy, then the elves will be the best choice for taking them out with raw damage. This is where range becomes a double-edged sword. If their range is too high, they might start shooting at other enemies instead of the one you meant for them to hit. If you intend to micro them intensely, skipping out on this upgrade to make them do what you want might be a good idea. Another way to use them is to place them in bad tower spots, where even high range archers might struggle to reach the choke point. The combined rally point range and attack range of the elves might be just enough to still reach the spot you want to hit, all without using up a tower spot that could be better filled with something else. This makes them useful for levels that give a lot of gold, so that they can supplement a defense that otherwise wouldn't be able to get as much support. Just as a friendly reminder, attack damage buffs like Gerald's Courage or Shin's Inspire will not affect their bows, but will affect their melee attacks. Damage taken multipliers like Tournament Weakness or Hunter's Mark will apply to all damage sources, so these are the best ways to increase their projectile damage even further. Try them out in these ways and let me know if you find other strategies or tactics to make them useful. I believe that the fundamental goal of a custom tower, other than being fun, is to fill a role in ways that the other towers do not thus creating synergies rather than making overlaps.
If anyone is interested in helping make custom towers for the mods, please get in touch with me through Discord. As always, I have the Discord server linked in the description, so feel free to join there or message me at Voodoo hashtag 7849. Bye!